In this video, we'll be replacing the rear lift strut on this 2007 Mazda CX-9. So we're gonna open up our rear hatch. Now, if you're replacing one of your lift supports, this might be a little difficult to open and keep your hatch open. This job is definitely easier done with two people, but it is doable with one person. If you're gonna do it by yourself, you can use a pole. We have a, an extended pole here that we're gonna put in place. And if you are gonna do it by yourself, you can find something to take place of this pole here, or you can hold it up if you can manage to do that. The idea is to hold the weight of one side while you take your lift arm out. Now that we have our hatch supported, we're gonna focus on our arm. We're gonna focus on this outside end. You're gonna see a metal band running across here. That band needs to be removed partially. So we're gonna get in there with the pick tool. You can use a small pocket screwdriver if you have one. The goal here is to back that band out enough so that we can take that end right off of the ball. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is take this out, this band up, out even. Right now one of the sides is stuck in. Just use a little pry tool here to see if we can pop that end off. There we go. Now that we have our top removed, what we're going to do is swing it straight up and work on removing our bottom clip here. We're gonna use our pick tool again to see if we can get that clip out. So there's your clip removed enough so that now we should be able to get in there with a pry tool or just pull that straight off. Just like that. So now we're gonna take our new lift support and we're gonna put it into position. Our rod here, our silver rod is gonna go up top and this end is gonna go down the bottom. We're gonna focus on the bottom first. Before we actually put our new rod into position, we're gonna clean this ball end. Make sure there's no debris on that end. So before we go ahead and install our new strut, what I like to do is just put a little dab of grease on that end. Now we can take our new strut, line it up into position, and we're just gonna push it into place. Give it a little pull back to make sure it's locked in. And then we're gonna come up top here and we're gonna do the same thing. While we clean it, we're gonna lower our arm. Just gonna wipe down that end. Make sure there's no debris on it. Just take a dab of grease. And because our gate is actually a little bit lower than it should be, we may have to compress this arm or raise the gate. Now we're gonna opt to raise the gate. So we'll go ahead and raise that open now. I'm gonna put our arm or our support somewhere here where it will help us. We're going to take the arm Line it up, again, just push into place. Make sure your clip is all the way in. Go ahead and give it a pull backwards, make sure it's locked in. And you're all set. Now, at this point, what I would do is just check the operation once or twice. Make sure it doesn't bind and it doesn't come loose. If everything works well, then you're all done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.